Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this and or this and or leave some space between the lines. Really easy and a pretty good exercise because it teaches us some tools. We're going to start off with an ellipse and we're going to hit P. We're going to make it an even number. We're going to go ahead and make it 20. And then instead of sizing them, I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour three steps, two inches to the inside. And you get that. Now you have to go here and you have to go to object and break the contour apart. But then you also have to select it, go to object and group and ungroup them for this to work. Then take them all, select them, and hit B, and that put them at the bottom. So they're all two inches apart, or four inches apart, because we did two, but this is four now, because we've moved it down. Then if we're working in the center of the page, take a two-point line, hold down your control button, and hit P, and then pick either side and just pick a color in your smart fill tool. We'll go ahead and use that color. So now we have three objects. We're gonna move these out of the way. We can actually, I don't ever get anything, delete anything until I'm through. Now I'm going to left click, right click. And if we take our uh, parallel dimension tool just to kind of prove the distance, if we go from that node to that node, we're at four inches. There's really, it'd be really hard to curve this. So what we're going to do is take a, a four inch ellipse and we're gonna put it right here and it's gonna go midpoint. Hit the plus key in your keyboard, go down here to midpoint, hit the plus key in your keyboard. In that case, in this case, we could actually control D and it would have gone to that spot. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. So you see what we're doing, we're making these shapes. Now I would strongly suggest taking your smart fill tool again, filling them in and what that did, that um, made them a single unit. Let's go ahead and get it off the page. And then take your first one, and this is pretty cool. Use your interactive field tool and just maybe put a little darkness up here. And because these are all kind of the same size, let's go a little bit lighter. You can use the attribute eyedropper, which is underneath your color eyedropper. Get that attribute and then pour it in there and it's giving you the exact same one the same interactive field tool that you probably could not have duplicated that well. Now, let's back up here where we just have, um, well, what we can do is just select them, take away the field by left clicking, and then right click black. We're gonna rotate this about the only way you can do it. Let's go ahead and group these together for a second. Control G, Control D to duplicate. We're not going from the center of the page, but we're going to go from that node and we're going to rotate it 45 degrees. So this is what we want to smart field now, because when we do that, it will be that shape that we can go all the way around. So I'm double clicking. Now let's just take all this away. Now let's get our smart interactive field tool again. We'll just kind of go up. Put a little darkness, and you'll see in just a second when we rotate. Let's, let's make it just a little bit like that. And then we're going to go back to the uh, attribute eyedropper, take a sample, pour it in there, pour it in there. Now, these are bigger. In this case, it didn't really work. Let's uh, get back to our interactive fill tool, and let's go a little further, maybe not... Uh, I want a little bit of blue. Interactive uh, attribute eyedropper. Eh, it's not as good in this case. So what we can do is just pick each one and have to do them individually, but it's not that big a deal because you could adjust it. And we could have probably adjusted. Let's see if we can't adjust that. Let's use the attribute eyedropper. Now that one was is closer, but if you had to, you could go back to the interactive field tool and change it. Well, it's actually on that one. 
and then change it. Then, because we've got this shape, control G to group, control D to duplicate. This is a real easy one to duplicate because there's a node right there. You don't want edge, you want node. And then rotate at that magical 45 degrees. And see, this way you won't have any, when it gets to the next one, it's going to go right in that socket. So you don't have anything overlapping. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.